This video is going to show you how thermohaline currents move. Therm means heat and haline means salt. So we're going to take a look at how salt and temperature affects movement of water. Now we looked at, like, looked at this before and we looked at vertical movements. Now we're going to take a look at horizontal movements. So if you take a look at the setup on page two, you'll see two cups and where the tape is, there are two holes. So a hole up in the middle and a hole near the bottom on both cups. I'm gonna remove the tape and we're gonna see where the water goes. First, I want you to make a prediction at the bottom of page two where you think the water's going to go. If, you, if all you have is a pencil or pen, that's fine, but if you have colored pencils or markers or pens, that might help you visualize uh, the movement a little bit easier. So use arrows to show me which way the water is going to move in and out of those holes. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now let's remove the tape. We're going to give it a second for the water to calm down because some of the water might be going in or out just because I'm moving the water and creating waves. So let's first give it a second for the water to settle. Okay, now If you look closely, let's see if I can zoom in here. You can see water definitely coming out of that bottom hole in the blue cup, and you can see the red coming out the top hole in the red cup. A little bit in the bottom, but primarily mostly in the top. Now the second thing I want you to look at is what direction is it moving? Not just up and down, but also let me turn this cup a little bit. Okay, there. Now I can definitely see it coming out. And you see the blue coming down. And then what direction do you see the blue moving once it hits the bottom? You should notice it being moved to the right. I don't see a lot of blue movement over here on the left side of the cup at the edge of the container. The red, again, you can obviously see it mostly coming out of the top and you see it moving towards the left. So go ahead and draw what you see after the one minute mark. And I'm going to pause the video and then replay it after five minutes so you can see what it looks like after five minutes.